Hi everyone, I would like to mention that this video contains a much more serious topic than my usual videos. I will be talking about death, grief and trauma. When a young person thinks about death, it is often associated with the loss of, for example, a beloved pet. While the loss of a pet can absolutely be hurtful, it cannot be denied that the loss of a parent is different beyond our imagination. We all know that one day our parents will pass away, whether that's sooner or later. And speaking from experience here, I feel like it's a topic we'd all rather not think about. Still though, it's the inevitable truth, and for some people this truth comes a lot sooner than they can handle. My mom passed away in December 2019. It was sudden. She had gotten the cancer diagnosis in early December and passed away three weeks later. There was no time for anything. We couldn't talk, we couldn't do anything fun for a last time. We were still processing what was happening and before we knew it, she was gone just like that. There was so much left unspoken, so many things we wished we had done together. My mom left me and I could never speak to her again. I was only 20 years old. I can understand if the title of my video confuses you. You thought this would be about the funny animal game. Well, it will be, but I really feel like it's important to give you the full context of my situation. What I went through was a lot. It was traumatizing, and I don't want to downplay any of that. A few days before my mom passed away, she told me something that has stuck with me ever since. She told me to enjoy life, even when she's gone. She wanted me to be happy. The months after her death were excruciating. Though her words helped me a lot, there was no denying that what I had been through was horrible. It felt unfair. I found myself in a mentally dark place. I had nightmares so frightful that I became afraid to sleep. I would force myself awake for many hours, dreading the nightmares that would follow once I fell asleep. My mom was on my mind constantly, whether I was awake or not, and the pain of losing her felt inescapable. There were very little things that could keep my mind off of her. That was until a certain game came out in March of 2020. I had never played Animal Crossing before, but my boyfriend was a huge fan and bought us both a copy. And after what felt like the first time in months, I was finally able to enjoy myself again. Animal Crossing helped me grieve in ways I couldn't imagine. One of the first things I did was recreate this photo of me and my mom. This is the only recent photo I have of us together, so this photo is very dear to me. Using a website, I was able to convert it into my game. I hung it in my house and looking at it gave me a sense of comfort. It was nice to see my mom in the game. Once I unlocked the terraforming, I tried to make a river in the shape of a heart. I surrounded it with many flowers that I felt my mom would have loved and I placed the portrait of us in the middle of it. The river was right next to my house, so I would walk by it every time I was playing. It was always so nice to see and I was proud of what I made, as simple as it was. It's not that Animal Crossing made me forget about my mom, it's more so that it made it possible for me to express my feelings in a healthy way. Having a cute river dedicated to my mom helped me associate her with beauty and positivity again. I realized I didn't always have to be sad when thinking about mom. The happiness she left behind was still there and I was slowly learning to find it again. After playing for a couple of weeks, I found out about the villager Eugene. He became my instant favorite, and I was obsessed with him. You might be wondering what this has to do with my mom. Well, Eugene showed me that I was still the same person as I was before I lost my mom. And with that I mean the silly Starney who is able to completely obsess over a character to the point she makes art, buys merchandise and can't stop talking about it. That Starney was still inside of me and for the first time in a very long time I gained the ability to happily obsess over something once again without any worries. That's what Eugene did to me. When I was afraid to sleep, still scared of the nightmares, I would play Animal Crossing. I would make funny photos of me and Eugene. I would make Twitter posts about him. I would draw him until late in the night. He gave me a happy distraction that I desperately needed in this time. Animal Crossing was my outlet. It helped me discover things about myself I didn't even know. It may not sound like much, but the reason I love fashion and house decor so much nowadays is because of that game. It teached me how I could express myself. For example, I never cared about the color pink, and now it's my favorite color. My clothes are pink, my room is pink, even my art is pink. What I'm trying to say is that Animal Crossing changed a lot about who I am today, and in the best way possible. I truly don't know how my 2020 would have been without it, and I don't want to know. I went from a deep, dark place to the person that I am today. And I'm not afraid to say that Animal Crossing and Eugene helped me with that. 
Hey there everyone, Starney here. This was a very personal video for me. I've been through a lot in my life and I think it's important to talk about every once in a while. The struggles I've been through are very real and while they do not determine the person I am right now, I don't think they should be forgotten either. Thank you for taking the time to listen to me. I really appreciate it. See you next time.